Another big area of focus for us in Premiere Pro CS6 was the area of audio. With CS6, we've streamlined working with audio, removed most of the previous limitations, and just made the whole thing easier and faster. The big news is the new default audio track type, which we call a standard track. Historically, versions of Premiere Pro have required that a stereo clip goes on a stereo track and a mono clip on a mono. And this has been a source of frustration and, and confusion for some users. So what we've done with CS6 is introduce the standard track. And this is a track which, as you can quite clearly see from this sequence, freely combines stereo with mono on the same track. So a mono clip on a standard track, by definition, has a panner. You can see in my effect controls panel, I can change the pan position of that clip, and I can keyframe it, and so on. So the limitations of having to have a certain type of clip on a certain type of track have completely gone in CS6, and it's much easier to work with audio. We've also taken audio much further, introducing a concept called adaptive audio. This is for people who want, want to work with much more complex, multi-channel audio routing. So if we take a look at this sequence here, I have a single adaptive audio track which contains a four-channel MXF clip. Notice when I play it back, I'm playing all four channels. Also notice that my new audio meter updates to show me each of those four. I can mute and solo stereo pairs or indeed just solo single channels as I'd like. So this is an adaptive track routing to a four-channel, multi-channel master. If I look in my uh, audio mixer, you can see here, there's the master fader and it's got four output channels. For more complex routing, I can have anything up to 16 output channels. So for example, let's say we'll go for eight channels, and I can then use the routing button here on the track itself to determine exactly where my input channels will be routed. So if I wanted my fourth input channel to route, let's say, to output seven, I can do that, hit OK. And then when I hit play, you can see the meter is now metering eight and showing me that I've routed that to seven. So as you can see, we've really addressed audio a great deal in CS6. The new standard track allows you to freely combine mono and stereo clips with no limitations. And adaptive audio gives you great routing flexibility for more complex multi-channel audio mixing and exporting. So I hope I've given you an idea of what's so great about Premiere Pro CS6. Like I said, we wanted to focus squarely on two things. One, the user interface as a whole, making it sleek, making it customizable, making it intuitive. And two, the rhythm of, the experience of editing, reducing interruptions and frustrations, and maximizing your ability to be creative. Thanks for listening.